morning and welcome to Epic Deals. Uh, yes, another episode of Epic Deals, and uh, with our guitar department manager, another How Lee. Are doing? Hello. Uh, yeah, Nathan wasn't available for today, so um, uh, Lee, who, who've, uh, who's been with us for a few months now uh, as our guitar department manager, but is a, a, is a tremendous bass player. Due to the fact that you were professional for a few years, weren't you? At one stage, Come at on. one stage, clang, yeah. Drop a name, Clang. Who was your, who was your well, first gig? Well, it was really, I, I did a lot of touring with um, uh, sort of a pop artist, but it was mostly, mostly Xenomania. That was a sort of writing production company I worked with. So, uh, yeah, they flew me around. Nice, around the world. nice. So, yeah, so we've got some funky styles. Anyway, the epic deal today is on this bad boy here, which is the Eden WTX264. Um, it's basically the baby brother of the Eden uh, World Tour 500 uh, and it's a very very small stupidly light uh, two kilos that weighs uh, which is about four and a bit pounds in old money and to get the, the epic deal out the way first these uh, would have uh, I think these used to retail for about 500 pounds which is you know pretty much the going rate for all of these micro kind of base heads at the moment yeah. um, but I spotted a, a blowout deal on these from, from Eden about you know, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we can sell these now for 2.29. Um, so I bought them all. So we bought about 100 of these. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be an absolute steal. Definitely. So let's, let's talk about the, the kind of features. Uh, it's a 260 watt head with a ton of kind of ins and outs on it. And we'll show you the close ups of those and go through it. A relatively simple EQ, Lee's going to do a bit more playing in a minute and, and I'll adjust the EQ whilst he's playing. But essentially you've got a, a gain control, an enhancer, which is, um, it's kind of like a like a pre-shaped thing, isn't it? So Kind of move the EQ, yeah, move that scoop along. Yeah, there, so. and you can kind of gives that sort of nicer, fatter bass end and brighter treble end. You've got a bass, middle and treble control. The bass has a boost option on it. The mid control has two positions, one uh, where it's centered around 550 hertz, the other where it's centered around 2.2 kilohertz. Uh, treble control, master volume, built-in sort of compressor stroke sort of limiter, uh, built-in protection circuit to stop you overdriving the amplifier, tons of other cool features, send and return, stereo auxiliary inputs, tuner output, mute switch. Uh, on the back, it's got headphone output, you've got a balanced DI output, you've got a combination of jack and, and speak on outputs. Got a foot switch on there so you can, I think, switch the mute on and off and is and it the, the enhancer on and off that you can do yep. from, a, from any kind of dual latching foot switch. Um, good quality, I think everybody knows Eden, the American company, although a few years back everything was made in America, more recently the stuff is now made in the Far East, but it's still got that kind of American design heritage there. Uh, we don't normally stock Eden gear, so hence the fact we haven't got a cab to run an Eden cab to run it through. So we're running it through the Ashdown um, Mag Series 210 with the tweeter. You're hearing a uh, you're hearing a mic'd up cab sound here. Um, we'll show you what the DI sounds like, but yes, uh, this is actually the second time we've shot this video, isn't it? Because rather. Um, Naively, we just assumed that with the first video we shot, we did the whole thing with the DI output and then realized that the DI is uh, pre-EQ. Now, pre-EQ means essentially none of the changes that you make to the EQ come out the DI. And I think that's worth saying. That's either going to make you the sound man's friend, yep. because lots of sound men would prefer that you just use the EQ on the amplifier to get your on-stage sound and then they can do your EQ and everything and levels for the front of house. Yeah. However, for perhaps smaller gigs and home recording, it is a bit annoying that the DI out doesn't utilize the EQ because the, but you'll see the yeah. DI out, it's kind of like a pretty flat sound. So if I turn the enhancer off, put everything back flat again, yeah. and Lee, you start playing through and I'll, cool. you'll just see on the close-up camera, I expect what we do. No Here we go. Thank 
Sounds great. Oh, nice Sounds great. It really I mean, does. my uh, you 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 may have not spotted there, but through a, a two ten relatively compact cab, I couldn't really turn the bass boost up by more yeah. than about two notches because it starts to overload the, the cab. I guess with a bigger cab. But the phenomenal amount of bass end out of this thing. Yeah. What is it? What, what is the sort of Eden? Who? What kind of bass player? You know, musically, do you think this is going to appeal to? I think. That, I mean, it's a it's a great all rounder. I mean, that that real when that you use that enhance uh, dial, dial some of that in, and it's that real smooth smooth bass tone that I think, especially as maybe more of a stripped back, um, small little setup, so mm -hmm. like a trio or a, um, just a four piece, where you can really hear those low ends and that low tone. I think that's a really nice little feature. Yeah. It might get missed a little bit if it's a you know bigger setup and might get lost, but I think that warm sound is, is yeah. beautiful. But with the, say, the pull options, the midge boost, I think you can really sort of set up yeah. any, any sort of gig environment, really. It certainly strikes me that its, it's natural comfort zone is in that kind of soul funk, yeah. kind of jazzy vibe. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get maybe something that might be a bit more rocky or... But I, I don't yeah. think this is its natural territory. I don't, it doesn't feel like uh, an ampeg kind yeah. of growl thing, does it? It's a smooth old kind of thing. If you look on the Eden website, you look at the artists, there's a lot of kind of rockier sort of artists yeah. on there. So I'm going to try and get maybe something that's a bit rockier sounding yeah, cool. uh, out of here by... I might leave the enhancer kind of off or low, and just drive the mid range and the and the a bit, and just see if it if it gets a bit more honky. But let's course. maybe try something that's a bit more yeah. dirty and of course, yeah, yeah cool. See what happens. It doesn't want to growl. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. want to growl. It's, it's like, I think my favorite sounds on this, to be honest with you, are pretty much just the EQ really quite flat with like really minor tweaks on it. And then just doing everything from the enhancer. That's it. Like roll the enhancer off if you want that more sort of mid rangey kind of. A bit more of a honk to honk, it. Yeah, it? yeah. And, and wind it in if you want to go smooth and jazzy and funky. Yeah. You've been hearing the mic'd up cab for the whole of this demo. We talked about the DI output a little bit earlier on. So let's just do a quick uh, swizz through. If, if you What you're gonna hear now is just the DI output. So as I said, it doesn't really matter where we've got the EQ because yeah. it's ignoring all that. So if you cool. just play 20 seconds worth of stuff, and yeah. this is what your DI would sound like. No problem. That's the uh, WTX264. Just to remind you, these are 229 on Epic Deals at the moment. I think that's like less than half price or something in, in and yeah. around that, that uh, deal. And I guess, you know, this has got to be the kind of amplifier that, that either people will upgrade to. Maybe you've got a, maybe you've got a, a, a like a crappy secondhand thing that you started using, but you know, maybe the cab you've got is okay and you're thinking, I'm, I'm going to get this to upgrade to. Or, Maybe this is just something where you go, do you know what? I've actually got like a four or 500 watt amp that I'm pretty happy with. Yeah. But always at the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what's my plan B if exactly. that goes down? As a backup. Yeah. Whack it in your gig bag pocket or just in your, you know, in a carry bag or whatever, take it with you. It's, 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 your, it's a great plan B for Too right. such a cheap price. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there we go. Eden WTX264. Lee, take us out with some funky playing. Mm. Just do, do some slap. Some slap, slap stuff. I love it. Love it. All right.